Most of us want to eat more vegetables, but you may feel like you just don't have the time or have ways to eat them you enjoy. Eating more fresh food inevitably means there will need to be more food prep. And when that feels daunting, you end up with a drawer full of produce you bought with good intentions but never used. Here's 10 vegetable preparation hacks to help save time and actually use those veggies you put in your cart, helping the planet and your wallet by minimizing food waste. Having veggies pre-washed and chopped makes it so much easier to grab and go during the week. However, lettuce can wilt easily if it's already been washed and chopped. First, make sure it's well dried, whether by hand or with a salad spinner. Then, store it in a reusable container with a paper towel inside of it. The towel will help absorb the excess moisture that can make your lettuce wilt and help it stay fresh in the fridge for up to 10 days. Another way to preserve fresh veggies is to freeze them. But note that only a few veggies can be frozen raw, such as onions and peppers. After chopping them up, spread them on a small baking pan or sheet lined with parchment paper, then freeze until frozen. Once frozen, then store in a sealed container for up to three months. This will help them not freeze together in big clumps so you could take out just what you need. Most other veggies need to be blanched before freezing. See our blog post for more. Want a great easy way to get in extra vegetables and nutrients? Blend steamed cauliflower into your soup broth. Take one to two cups of the broth and blend it with steamed cauliflower, riced or florets, in a high-speed blender. Then add the creamy broth back to the soup. This makes the cauliflower untraceable in texture and adds a nice creamy thickness to the broth. Speaking of cauliflower, want to know the best way to get cauliflower florets off the head without any cutting? While still in the plastic wrapper, bang the bottom of your head of cauliflower hard on the counter. Do this vigorously a few times. I might have overdone it. Remove the wrapper and look, the florets are off the stem, no cutting required. Another veggie hack is to rice your veggies. Though you can often find rice cauliflower at the store, you can also do this at home easily with a food processor. Fill the food processor halfway up with florets and pulse just a few times until it's in small riced pieces. You can also do this with other veggies like broccoli or sweet potato. Small pieces you can easily add into many dishes or serve as a base to top with a variety of sauces and proteins. Want crispy roasted potatoes or homemade fries? Soaking cut potatoes in cold water helps remove excess potato starch, which leads to crispier roasted potatoes. Soak for at least an hour, but up to overnight. Then drain and dry well before tossing with oil and roasting or air frying. Because what's not to love about a crispy potato? Did you know you can cut a whole container of tomatoes with one cut? Put the tomatoes between two plates the same size. Gently pressing down on the top plate, cut through the middle between the two plates. Voila! You cut them all in half with one motion. A great time-saving hack that also works for cutting grapes as well. Our next hack is to give your kale a massage. <laughs> Why? Kale, the nutrient-dense, can be tough and bitter, but massaging your kale can easily change that. After cutting your kale off the stem, add a very small amount of oil. We used one teaspoon on the whole head of kale. Massaging kale will make it more tender and less bitter. Do this for about two minutes until tender and bright green for an absolutely delicious kale salad base. Want to know the easiest way to cut a head of broccoli? Here's how you do it with just seven cuts. First, cut the entire broccoli head into quarters, cutting through the stem. Then make one cut to cut away all the florets from each stem. Seven simple cuts and done. How easy was that? Do you know the right way to cook spaghetti squash for long noodles? Warm it up in the oven to soften, then slice into circle pieces. Scoop out the seeds, brush with olive oil, and bake for about 25 minutes. Look at these awesome long noodle strands. Having the right techniques can make veggie prep feel more approachable. We hope you learned a few new hacks and feel empowered to use up all those delicious veggies. Be sure to like and follow for more whole food tips and drop your favorite veggie hack in the comments.